Oh, a happy Monday to everybody. I forgot what day it was for a second. That was a weird intro, but it is what it is. Um, yesterday I sold something on Etsy and the only reason I sold it is because I cross posted it on Pinterest and I wanted to do a video about that, showing you guys how important it is to cross post things. It's much better lighting right here. Um, and I'm really happy with it because it's one of the pieces of pottery that I bought at an auction that has been sitting on eBay for months and hasn't sold. The minute I cross posted to Pinterest um, from Etsy, it sold instantly. So I'm gonna show you guys that piece, pack it up and we're good to go. All right, so this is what sold. This is a handmade pitcher um, from JB Cole Pottery. Um, this is from Seagrove, North Carolina, designed by Nell Cole Graves, master potter. Um, not designed by her, made by her. So I guess designed by her too, but I did a lot of research. I've learned a lot about Seagrove Pottery, about JB Cole Pottery in particular. and. The cool thing about this is it says J.B. Cole, Seagrove, North Carolina, Nell Cole Graves, age, aged 86, and this was made in 1995. So she's passed away by this point, unless she's insanely old, but I doubt it. And um, this is what sold. And I photographed these. I'll show you guys the photos. I'll superimpose them as I'm talking here real quick. So I photographed these and also a bunch of other things that I bought at auction. And it was a good buy, you know? I think I'm gonna invest in, in more pottery um, on, on auction sites because these tend to really flip very well. Um, one of the pieces that I bought at the auction um, had a chip in it and the way they photographed it, it didn't show. So they were a bit tricky. So there is that risk when you're buying things online, but I made sure that this has zero chips or scratches or anything like that. Those things there are just where the glaze didn't hit and those aren't imperfections. Maybe they're imperfections, but they don't affect the value. But anyway, um, the buyer paid, how much did they pay for this? I had it listed on Etsy for like 90, let's see here. Uh, sorry, everybody. Um, $96, so that's what it sold for and I'm doing free shipping. So, you know, minus seven or eight bucks, I'm sitting at $80 and I probably paid $6 for this total. So a good $80 profit on this bad boy. I'm gonna pack it up and show you guys the final. Well, there she is with like four layers of bubble wrap and some of this plastic sealer here that I use to keep things a bit tight. Now, when I'm wrapping up a, a ceramic thing like this, I actually don't pull too tight on this because I want there to be more give, like more padding all around. So while I, when I wrap up electronics, I'll pull pretty tight on that to make sure it's really sealed on there well. With these, I'm a little more gentle because as they're unwrapping this, I don't want them to accidentally drop it either if things are too tight and they suddenly like unwrap it really quickly. So now I'm gonna find a box for this guy. I think I've kind of, unfortunately, with all this wrapping, I've, I've kind of boxed myself out of a smaller box, no pun intended here. I don't even know if that was a pun, but uh, we'll see what I can fit it in. That's what she said, or he said, I guess. Maybe she. So while it did fit in this perfectly, in this six by six by six, it was a little bit snug, like the lid literally closed right on it. And while that would have been technically okay, I don't want to risk it, so I went with a eight by eight by eight, I think. So two inches more give, which means I was able to put styrofoam around the corners. I just don't want to mess with the possibility of anything breaking. I'm making enough money on this, plenty of money. I don't need to worry about the shipping. I'll eat that. I'd rather this thing arrive safely. So I'm just gonna fill in the little gaps here with some packing peanuts to make sure that everything's nice and tight. And then I will close this up and slap a label on it. All right, so she weighs one pound, 14 ounces, and let's get some measurements now. So I lost my uh, other measuring tape. I feel like a ghost stole it, for real. Because it never got some, it's never been moved out of the garage, it's suddenly gone. All right, so we're looking at seven and a half, just to be safe, because the post office is a bunch of hoes. Seven and a half by seven by seven and a half. Seven and a half by seven and a half by seven. So 7.5 by 7.5 by seven. One pound, 13 ounces. It's gonna be $8.12 to ship pri priority mail, which is fine with me. And here's the final box. I've got the priority mail sticker on there. I've got the label. I've got the thank you for supporting my small business sticker. And then I slapped a few fragile handle with care stickers on. I don't wanna like inundate the package with those cause I'm worried that the postal worker will just, you know, 
if they're disgruntled and they're just like having a bad day and they're sick of being told what to do, like if I were a postal worker and someone kept putting fragile, do not break, I'd be like, you know what, screw you. And I would probably be worse with it than if it didn't have a sticker, just to be honest. I think that reverse psychology works. So I should get a bunch of stickers that say, please handle roughly. <laughs> um, so anyway, that's all that sold, but it was a good sale, hundred bucks basically. Cool, thanks for watching, bye. So funny story. Um, as I was walking in the house from packing up that pottery piece, I got an eBay notification that something else had sold. It's super muddy and rainy out and I had just taken off my boots and taken off my jacket and poured myself a cup of coffee. And I was like, dang it. But it's a good thing, I'm happy. Um, the thing is, the reason why I have to pack this up tonight is because in order to compete with uh, another seller of the same item, I put my listing at one day processing, same day processing. So this has to go out tomorrow morning, first thing, or I get a bad rating and I'm, I'm lying to the customer um, about, you know, my guarantee. And my eBay rating will go down. For some reason, I'm already at like a 10% or 12% late shipment rating, which makes zero sense because I already... Here's the thing, I've had my account for 20 years. I've had my eBay account since 1999. So if you go to my store, which is Phantom's Findings, um, Phantom spelled F-H-A-N-T-U-M, and I think it's underscore findings, and it could not be plural, it could be Phantom Finding or Phantom's Findings. It says that I've been a member since 1999, which is absolutely true. I got it, made an account, <clears throat> an account when the website had just started, sold a few things, and maybe those were super late because I was 20 years old at the point, at the time. So anyway, I'm gonna show you guys what I sold, for Christ's sake. So what I sold is one of these bearing kits in here. And you guys will remember this because I've spoken about it a few times. All of these snowmobile and blah, 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 air filters and parts and whatnot. So I photographed these and put them up two or three weeks ago and they've I've sold one air filter so far and I haven't sold any of these, you know, these actual bearing kits, but they're starting to sell, which is a great sign. So I need to find, so the one that sold is 41-3538. So 41-3538. Let's see. That's not it. That's not it. Four one dash three five three eight. Where are you? There you are. Four one dash three five three eight. Now I have one without the permanent marker on it. I thought I cleaned all of these off, but I guess I just cleaned off the top of of the stack. I made a video where I showed everyone how to remove permanent marker from plastic and I guess I just did this one because you can see a little bit of it still left right there but this is what sold 41-3538 verifying and I'm going to pack this up and slap a label on it now I think that this will come in under a pound hopefully okay we're looking at 11 ounces so it's going to be pretty hard for me to pack this up at four ounces um, but I'm gonna try my hardest. So right now I am at 14.1 ounces. If I go one, one ounce, 1 1.9 ounces, I'm at, at two pounds, at one pound, which would be prior to meal. So I'm gonna put an airbag on the top of this and I'm gonna seal it up and be golden. So all done, shipping this bad boy. Shipping was 575. They paid $6 for first class mail. I made 25 cents, which will help go towards the box. Not a big profit on shipping. I'm not a fan of people who charge way too much for shipping and pocket the rest. It's unethical. If I've done that in a past video, then I am ashamed of myself, but I don't think I have. Um, if I have, please call me out on it. Um, that said, if I there is a way on, on eBay where you can add a surcharge for shipping and handling, which you can put whatever you want. You could put $2, $27,000 if you wanted for the labor that takes me and the packing supplies but that only works on calculated shipping so if you offer free shipping obviously it's coming out of your pocket calculated shipping you can add 50 cents or whatever you want on top of it anyway whole point is don't do that number two i'm extremely glad that these are starting to sell because i've got a ton of them and i'm making a lot of money off them and 
it's all good. I mean, it, it, this means that the auctions that I've started to pay attention to and actually purchase are, are bringing money in. Where I learned my lesson on a bunch of auctions on auctionzip.com at the beginning and I learned what not to buy versus what to buy. Now I'm finally getting that return and it feels really good because I put a lot of time and effort into it. Not hard work per se, but a lot of work. Photographing, cataloging, cleaning up the photos, posting on eBay, finding a description. On a lot of these, these parts over here, these are only compatible with certain models. So I need to go through on the eBay listing and pick the vehicles in the year that they're compatible with. So some of these listings take 20 minutes, which if you're a pro eBay seller, you might give me feedback and tell me, well, that's not worth it. Just list them for cheaper than what you would anyone else and say, I'm not sure what they're compatible with, but I don't like to work that way. It doesn't make sense. If someone comes on and they want to get this for like their Yamaha, they're not going to scroll through a thousand listings to find one that might work. They're going to type in Yamaha, whatever year, and mine will pop up and then it's an instant sale. So the only thing is that system is a little bit broken on eBay. For instance, if I'm listing, you know, this, which I just sold, but it says, you know, that this works on Arctic Cat. Um, and let's see, not all of these models are listed on eBay and their fitment, which is, which is weird. So their fitment is broken. If you don't know what a fitment is, it's just a guide that shows you, you can pick the year and then the vehicle to make the model. And that's what a fitment is. Enough rambling. I'm just glad this sold. I, dude, I guarantee you the minute I walk in the house, something else is gonna sell on eBay. And that is a fantastic problem to have and I'm not complaining. Have a good night.